risk management process flow in a diagrammatic way. So our first process is plan risk management. An output of this process is of course the risk management plan. Now this risk management plan will act as an input to identify risk process. Output of identify risk is risk register and risk report. This one contains the individual project risk and risk report will have the sources of overall project risk. Also it will have summary level information with respect to individual risks. Now the blue lines that you are seeing are with respect to the processes. The orange one that is with respect to the risk register. The pink ones is with respect to the risk report. So next the risk register only will act as an input to perform qualitative risk analysis where the first prioritization will happen. In short I call it as perform QLRA. Now here you prioritize with respect to probability and impact values of the risk, individual risk and as you prioritize prioritize the risk register is coming as an output that it is going to be updated for individual risks. The risk report which is created here also going to be updated here in QLRA and coming as an output. The risk report as I said earlier will contain the overall project risk and now it will have the prioritized individual risk a summary level information on them. Now risk register as well as risk report are going to act as an input to the next process of perform quantitative risk analysis which I call it as perform QTRA. Now in QTRA the second level of prioritization is happening. Here first level here we have the second level of prioritization. Here the output is not risk register but only risk report. The risk report will contain the quantified information with respect to overall project risk and also the prioritized individual risk which are acting as an input will be quantified here and that quantified information for individual risk at a summary level will be part of the risk report as well. So this process is mandatory whereas this process is optional. So if you are bypassing this process then of course you will directly go from QLRA to plan risk responses. In that case the risk register and the risk report which is coming from QLRA will directly act as an input to plan risk responses. Assuming we are entirely following the processes so here you will get the risk report only from QTRA and the risk register which is coming from QLRA containing the prioritized individual risk are going to act as an input. Now in plan risk responses we are going to develop various risk response strategies for individual risk as well as overall project risk. The individual risks are going to be updated, the response strategies for individual risk will be updated in the risk register whereas the overall project risk response strategies will be updated in the risk report. Also it will have the summary level information with respect to prioritized individual risks. Now both risk register as well as risk report are going to act as an input to implement risk responses where the risk response plans or the strategies that you have developed are going to be implemented here. Now as you implement the risk register will be updated and risk report is also going to be updated and that is why they are the outputs of implement risk responses. Now we have another process called monitor risk. As you can see the monitor risk is overlooking all these processes, all the six processes, rest of the processes. Now in monitor risk we are seeing whether our, our risk response has been effective where we did that, we plan for it, implement it for it, whether it has been effective. If any new risks is coming up will be identified in monitor risks. Also we will do a risk audit. Other than that it is possible during monitoring of, monitoring of risk you can see that uh, the existing status or existing probability value or impact value or as well as probability and impact value can change and all these things will happen in monitor risks. So this is how the processes of risk management knowledge area interact with each other and I have just represented them and explained them in a diagrammatic way.